Namaste. This is Professor Dr. Pramod Kiraga, Professor of Food Technology, Faculty of Agriculture and Veterinary Science, Jayoti Vidya Peet Puman University, Jaipur. The session, today's session is Ghee Processing. Dairy Engineering, BTEC FBT, sixth semester. So, in today's session, I will discuss the process of making of ghee. Ghee, we all know, and we have seen the ghee from childhood. And there are a lot of myths about the ghee. Either it is pure ghee, or it is nakli ghee, or from where you are buying the ghee, how you are making the ghee. We eat cow ghee, we eat buffalo ghee, because ghee is such a household name in India, in our country, that hardly there is any home where this ghee is not found. It has a lot of use religiously, as well as in various type of foods, as well as in various type of preparations, in various type of preparation of sweet, in various type of preparation of you know, our ethnic and traditional foods. So ghee is all around. And there is a myth that if you wanna make your health, eat lot of ghee. I do not know about lot of ghee, but what I know that one should consume at least two teaspoonful of ghee every day in the diet. Because if taken in a limited quantity, it is a tonic for your body. So now we're gonna discuss the ghee making process. My dear students, ghee can be made from the milk by two methods. Either first make the butter or directly from cream, we can make the ghee. But what is more preferred that first make the butter and then out of that butter, you make ghee. That ghee so made from the butter will be having a good taste as well as a better texture as compared to the ghee made by other methods. So now let me take you to the journey of ghee making or ghee processing. So ghee is actually animal fat and this is produced from the milk and what happens actually when i am getting the milk in the plant i am just you know separating the cream from this milk and that is having 50 to 70 percent of fat content and i am taking this cream and you know churning it in a butter churn and it makes the butter which is 84% fat. And the whey is drained in the whey tank, which is further used as the byproduct. Butter so obtained, now taken in a butter trolley, okay? And it is stored in the cold room. More butter is made. That is also taken in the butter trolley and stored in the cold room till I am not collecting, I am not getting enough butter from which I can make the ghee. When sufficient butter is accumulated, then this is taken to the ghee kettle. Remember the word I am using ghee kettle. Ghee wet bhi bolte hain, ghee kettle bhi bolte hain, ghee kettle we call it. So we take this butter to the ghee kettle and we open the condensate drain valve and remove all the condensate from the steam jacket. And the steam valve in the ghee kettle is opened, which slowly starts supplying steam and butter starts melting. Butter kya hone laga? Melt hone laga, butter melting. Now I close the drain valve and open the steam trap and let the condensate pass through it. 
once the but enough butter is melted then i start the agitator in the ghee kettle that agitate the ghee that that agitate that you know butter which i just started melting and i keep on continue supplying steam to the kettle and a point will come when that butter become a butter oil and it will start boiling and the water from this butter will start evaporating let the process be continued let the water evaporate completely and then when i have you know seen that enough water has been evaporated then i close the steam valve and let all the condensate from the steam jacket get drained and let the ghee cool down because since all water has evaporated now it has become ghee now i will continue agitating the ghee with the help of agitator and after the ghee temperature has come down around 70 degree celsius drain this ghee in a ghee filter tank jab 70 degree temperature aa jayega to main usko le jaunga ghee filter tank mein and with the help of stainless steel strainer most of the burned protein from the butter is filtered out butter mein jitna bhi burned protein tha sara filter out ho gaya aur saaf sutra ghee ek usme aa gaya once all the ghee is filtered i pump this ghee to the ghee clarifier ab isko main ek ghee clarifier mein le jata hu dhyan suniye ghee clarifier ghee clarifier but nothing it is a centrifuge where the ghee is clarified and after the clarification the ghee is collected in the balance tank and ghee from the balance tank with the help of another ghee pump is transferred into jacketed ghee storage tank wahan se main isko ghee jacketed ghee storage tank mein le jaunga the storage tank has jacketed with electric heater that in case the ghee you know settled or uh, 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 become solid so it can be brought into the free flowing conditions and this is the final product this ghee is now final product and this is packed in the consumer packaging it is packed in the you know carton tetra pack like stuff it is packed in the tin it is packed in the plastic it is packed in the pouches so many other packagings are available Uh, of packing of the ghee and that's how that that's how the ghee is made that's how the ghee is prepared so now student let me summarize the whole process first i am taking milk i am separating cream after cream separation i am taking it to churner i am churning the butter butter so obtained is taken to the ghee kettle or ghee vat where this is heated it convert into the butter oil that butter oil is heated water evaporates and evaporates and evaporates then i am taking it to a stainless steel strainer where it is strained all the burned protein is separated after strainer i pump this ghee into the ghee clarifier where ghee clarification is done which is nothing a centri but a centrifuge simply after the ghee clarification it is pumped into a balance tank from the balance tank i again use a ghee pump and pump it into a jacketed uh, ghee storage tank and from that ghee storage tank it goes to the various packaging materials to the packaging uh, boxes maybe a tin maybe a plastic maybe a paper box or whatever wherever we want to you know pack it so that's how he is processed and finally you uh, get the ghee which is for the restored at room temperature we do not need to store the ghee at 4 degree or 5 degree the ghee very well can be stored at the room temperature so that's how the ghee is processed and that's how the ghee is made now let me spend Two three minutes about the various equipment which we use in the ghee processing. 
So first of all, we use a cream separator. Then we need a butter churner. Then we need a, a ghee kettle. Then we need a ghee clarifier. Then we need a, a, a balanced tank. We need a ghee pump and we need a jacketed ghee storage tank. All these equipments are made of food grade stainless steel. And whatever the heating is done, that is done by using the steam. We had to have to use the steam for, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, any type of, uh, you know, heating, any type of, uh, you know, uh, heating of the, uh, or, or, or melting of the butter is done. So we use the steam. So that's how these were the five, seven, six equipments. And if we put them together, it becomes a, you know, ghee plant or becomes a ghee processing section in the dairy plant itself. So students, that how the, that's how the ghee is processed. That's how the ghee is made. And uh, naturally, uh, ghee is pale yellow in color. And if it is of milk uh, uh, from the cow, it is called as cow ghee, which is absolutely being yellow in color. And that is because the uh, milk of color uh, uh, cow is yellow. So that is the, that is, that is the you know, ghee. And uh, that's how the ghee is made. And uh, in this lecture, I told you about making of ghee from the milk after making it, uh, con uh, you know, separating cream and uh, then cream to butter and butter to, you know, ghee. So um, that's all about uh, today's uh, uh, lecture. And uh, if you have any question, uh, you can uh, very well ask me on, on my YouTube comment box. You can ask me when I'm in the class face to face. You can even write me an email if you have any question regarding the ghee processing or ghee making. But let me tell you one thing, student, this ghee making is, um, you know, ghee is very, very important and household product. And you should know um, in the process of making the ghee. And uh, I'm not adding anything to this ghee. Remember, we do not add any additives, any color, any scent, any preservative, not at all. We do not add anything to ghee. It is pure, 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 pure. So uh, that's how you make the pure ghee, the purest form of fat, actually, animal fat, which is obtained from the milk. So uh, that's all about uh, the ghee making process. And um, if you have any question, as I told, you can always ask. And uh, you should ask the questions. Uh, so that's all. And uh, that, that, that's it about, uh, you know, today's lecture. Uh, thank you. And uh, uh, keep eating good ghee. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good day. Bye-bye.